ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஹைடெக் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் யூடியூப் வீடியோ சீரியஸ் அண்ட் வி ஆல் நோ ரைட் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் ரெகுலர்லி ரைட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஏடபிள்யூஎஸ் ரியல் டைம் இஷ்யூஸ் கரெக்ட் ஸோ ஐ எம் யூனோ ரிசீவிங் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சப்போர்ட் ஃப்ரம் பீப்புள் விச் அகெயின் அண்ட் அகெயின் மோட்டிவேட்டிங் மீ டு ப்ரிப்பேர் அ நியூ நியூ வீடியோஸ் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் யுர் ஆல் யுவர் சப்போர்ட் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே ஐ நெவர் எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் திஸ் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் சப்போர்ட் ஃப்ரம் யூ thanks a lot once again all right so today we are going to uh, discuss a different scenario all right again this request right uh, this uh, totally based upon one of our uh, subscriber uh, request actually so if you look at there is someone called uh, kamal nayak he is you know eagerly waiting for the uh, video called auto scaling related troubleshooting scenario uh, recently i have po- posted s3 related issue in that video he have commented he would like uh, he would like to go with uh, uh, auto scaling troubleshooting discussion okay based on his uh, request only right today i prepared video for auto scaling all right fine guys so now we are going to see the a uh, fifth troubleshooting scenario video i have successfully completed four videos if anyone miss watching those four videos right i'll mention each videos different uh, four scenario troubleshooting video in my video description go ahead and have a look on it so that you will get some clarity all right today in scenario 5 aws easy to auto scaling issues we are going to discuss all right this aws easy to auto scaling issues right even if you go and interview or uh, any one of your you know friends or colleagues in the team when you are discussing or from your client side okay they may be coming with different different terms actually you supposed to not get confused uh, i am going to tell you what are the different types of you know uh, terms are th- involved in uh, auto scaling actually because the communication will vary from person to person right so if you are supporting for us customers they will communicate in different way you are supporting for you know uh uk based customers they will communicate in different way but end of the day uh, whatever the meaning they trying to uh, you know uh, portray that going to be same but the way of communication that going to differ so for the same uh, auto scaling issue right from people to people it will vary so whatever different way they ask the solution going to be same all right the area what are the area we are going to check that all should be same okay now i'll tell you what are the different way they can uh, convey uh, when there is a issue with auto scaling okay first thing people can uh, say it as aws ec to auto scaling issues okay so even an interview or your client or someone they will ask you hey my aws ec to auto scaling right that has some issue there is another way right people also can communicate in such a way troubleshooting scaling issues with my amazon ec to auto scaling group okay this is also another way of communicating something they have a problem with their auto scaling all right there is another way third one Uh, ec to auto scaling group is not following the scaling policy i configured okay in my aws i have configured my auto scaling where i having some customized uh, scaling policy my auto scaling is not following that however uh, end of the day that also my auto scaling issue only right the way our word only going to be different the fourth one right people also can call it as ec to auto scaling group is scaling out or uh, instead of scaling in it's misbehaving okay instead of scaling out it's scaling in there is some ca- confusion and the problem with the auto scaling this way also people can say even if you go on an interview right the uh, interviewer can ask you in that angle as well okay the fifth one right there is another way of asking ec to auto scaling group is not responding to my cloud watch alarm or health check replacement all right this can be also a yeah, one of the uh, <clears throat> what the what i can say this can be also people will be asking in such way okay we need to be prepared for all these things and next point right people can also ask in such a way ec to auto scaling my instance stuck in pending or wait either its provisioning state or terminating state whatever it's it's true it's it's actually showing me wait or pending something status is still holding that also a yeah, one kind of auto scaling issue only okay so finally i would try, convey you last point my amazon ec2 auto scaling group is not responding to the scheduler action okay whatever action i have scheduled Uh, that is not responding responding to me so whatever different different term they ask during the interview the solutions whatever things you going to check right almost close to the same one only so i am very much you know happy to convey all this information in single video i am trying to cover all these issues in and auto scaling in single video this will be definitely helpful to you all right fine guys before getting into the troubleshooting stuff now i'll go back to my aws account i'll show you my current auto scaling setup okay so see this is my auto scaling uh, when i when you can see my auto scaling launch configuration right probably i'll start from the scratch okay so everyone can understand there is something called aws easy to auto scaling uh, launch configuration in the auto scaling right i have used this as my particular ami 
and my instance type right i use the t2 micro and my key pair right hari not virginia something like that i use this security group and everything right i have created this is my volume right everything okay using this auto scaling uh, launch configuration i have created this asg auto scaling group here if you go uh, i have given my desired capacity is two instances minimum capacity is one instance and maximum capacity it could be five instances this is my current setup actually okay this is my current setup in this setup only we are going to do the troubleshooting and things and stuff all right uh, based upon this auto scaling right i this auto scaling no created couple of instances here i would like to show you one and two these two instances sorry guys not this one once again let me refresh okay yeah this instances probably if you go back to the instance management you will be able to see okay these instances uh, which got created from my auto scaling group only all right so fine so another one is right it's updating it's waiting for the status it's showing me there is you know uh, from very long period it's saying uh, still updating okay auto scaling instance right it's in launch state only which is not coming up anything if i go to my activity history see uh, instance right launching launching it's suddenly terminated there are some issue happened with this auto scaling okay you can see desired capacity from 0 to 2 it's increasing 0 to 2 increasing but it is no uh, was selected for termination 2 to 1 it was selected for the termination there are some issue with this auto scaling we are going to troubleshoot this setup only my lab setup everything is ready all right so fine you all good with the uh, auto scaling launch configuration and auto scaling group okay and the wish the issue now uh, what i'll do i'll go back to my presentation now we can start our troubleshooting so fine the point number one right when you are in such situation any one of these auto scaling issues right first what you need to do check your scaling policy okay to, to see whether uh, even you know trigger more than one policy sometime what happens right in your auto scaling we have a custom uh, trigger policy actually custom scaling policy sometime people know might have wrongly configured or sometimes they would have correctly configured only but problem is some due to some reason both the policy right get conflict each other due to the policy conflict right it will misbehave okay how how can we check this how can we troubleshoot it go back to your account if you go to you know uh, automatic scaling okay in this section there is something called dynamic scaling policy as of now in my case i have created my auto scaling uh, dynamic scaling policy in such a way as required to maintain an average CPU utilization of AS, 70 percent. All right. If this goes more than 70 percent, right, it should provision one more in situ instance. Okay. I have, I have given here as of now, no maximum capacity I have given to minimum is one. So desired capacity is two. So I am allowed, I have configured my auto scaling in such a way, maximum it can provision up to five instances. So in that case, what it will do, uh, it will check your dynamic scaling policy when your utilization reaches 70 percent. It's ideally, you no, know, it's statically 70% uh, is maintaining. For the safer side, always auto scaling is its work in perspective of prevention is better than cure, right? So, uh, whatever issue going to arrive, it will protect, it will monitor, it will add the instances, I mean, scale out the instance uh, before issue comes, okay? So, what it will do, it will like uh, keeps monitor your utilization. When it is reaches 70 percent right it will automatically spin up the new instance so what was our discussion sometime when you have a multiple scaling policy right that time there could be an issue as of now i do not have multiple policies only one scaling policy i'm having this is nowhere relates to my problem so i'm i'm fine with the point number one when i'm checking my point number one there is no multiple uh event uh scaling policy configured in my setup okay if you are good with that what i'm going to do next point two we are going to check Verify if a scale out policy and scale in policy are triggered at the same time. Again, uh, by the way, they are trying to come back to the same position only. Uh, when you are working with scaling policy, right? There are two kinds of policies. One is scale out policy, another one is scale in policy. What is it? What is the difference between scale out and scale in policy? When you come over here, okay. When you are come over here, this particular policy, right? Add or remove the capacity unit as required. Add or remove the capacity unit uh, required. Scale in is enabled. All right. So, which means this policy has been configured in such a way when it is reaches the 80 percentage of utilization, it will scale out. Scale out means the sense it will create a new instance to your auto scaling group. It will create a new instance to your auto scaling group. Scale in enabled in the sense, what is the meaning of it? When your utilization is back to normal, okay, it will scale in the capacity. I mean, whatever the newly provisioned 
instance, right? It will terminate that instance. It will back to its actual capacity of my auto scaling. So in my point number two, what they are telling, there is can be a, some situation verify the scale out policy and scale in policy are triggered at the same time. All right. So in that case, I need to go to activity log. I need to check whether uh, both conflict happen, anything like that. Okay. So if you look at this uh, from zero to two, uh, it is launched the new instance zero to two. Again, it's launched the new instance. Uh, let me refresh for any new log created. Okay. Terminated. Okay. Monitor alarm. Health check. Okay. Instance log triggered policy desired capacity two to one. Okay. It's nowhere related to my scale in and scale out. How I am confirming in my auto scaling, right? I have properly configured again. When you are having two dynamic scaling policy, right? One policy will scale in, another policy will scale out. Again, there should be a conflict. Okay, due to that conflict, also your auto scaling will misbehave. In my case, uh, point two also I'm fine with that. There is no conflict between my scale out and scale in condition. My auto scaling as of now working with one policy. Uh, whenever my CPU utilization reaches uh, seventy percent, it will scale out. When it is back to normal, it will scale in. Okay, there is no problem in my uh, auto scaling in first two points. Checking your third point, right? Check your auto scaling group already reaches its maximum or minimum number of instances. So, what is the problem, right? Sometime uh, we will wait. Okay, my utilization is seventy. Okay, my auto scaling will provision new instances. We will wait for that, but nothing will happen. My auto scaling will never respond. So, what would be the issue? So, your auto scaling sometime, right? When they have configured your auto scaling in the maximum tab, okay, always you have to give minimum that doubles the number of your desired capacity. If you are giving two, your maximum capacity will be four or five. If your desired capacity, if you are giving three, your maximum capacity will be nine or ten, something like that. You need to maintain uh, double minimum, double the number of your uh, maximum capacity. Why we are giving like that? See, if you are giving this is two. If you are giving maximum capacity is three, what will happen when it is reached a seventy percent rate? One instance will provision. Again, there is a load to your uh, application. Lots of people are trying to access. If there is no maximum capacity limit you have defined, automatically your auto scaling will not create any further instances to your auto scaling group. That is a problem, right? So that is the reason I am strongly recommending. You need to check when your auto scaling not provisioning new instances. So you need to come and check whether you have having a sufficient capacity of maximum instances all right so if you go to your instance management right now i am having one instances if you go back to your details right uh, i have configured up to maximum five instances i have configured up to maximum five instances so what is the problem so i have a four more instances can be created but currently uh, there is no issue with that sometime right people would have wrongly configured maximum capacity they would have given no very minimum number so that is the reason uh, your auto scaling will not create a new instance. You need to always think, think for that. Okay, make sure you are giving minimum double or triple the number of your desired capacity value to your maximum number of instances. Okay, only then it will allow your auto scaling to provision a new instances. Okay, when the load hits. So if you are good with these three points, right, then we are going to discuss the fourth point. So obviously, uh, before discussing the fourth point, right, I wanted to tell you some small information. Many of them, right, not yet subscribed our channel. All of you watching my channel, but subscriber count, right, still in the same place. I'm recommending all of you to go ahead and subscribe my channel. Second thing, anybody needed these kind of, you know, uh, real time project based training, right? So forget about the training. Generally, you will get it from YouTube or Udemy or other training institutes are providing this theory based training. Those are just the configuration, installation, and those kind of training. But here. Real time project based training, live scenario oriented. Anyone wanted to learn, anyone wanted to know about it, right? Reach out to any one of this number. I'll be the faculty, I'll be the trainer. I'll be taking you the AWS and DevOps uh, training with the real project scenarios, so daily basis with different client uh, requirements. We'll discuss about it, okay? Very affordable training structure. I'll be giving you this, okay? Make use of this opportunity, guys. And I'll move on to the point number four now. Okay, when I'm checking four points, right? Sorry, three, three points, there is no issue. Now we are coming to the fourth point. Check your instance are in a cool down period and instance warm up period. There are two kinds of auto scaling cool down and warm up period, guys. How can you confirm if you go back to your instance? If you come down, right, there is option, there is uh, which is something called you know, default cool down is 300 seconds and default instance warm up is 60 seconds. What is the difference between these? So, default cool down period means sometime what will happen. Uh, people know they would have uh, uh, configured uh, cool down uh, uh, time duration actually. So, which means when your instance is uh, uh, triggers, right, your auto scaling triggers. So, so imagine your CPU utilization rate reaches 70 percent, it's immediately creating spin up on new instance. So, 
to create a next instance okay to create the next instance right now it's created a new instance due to my policy triggered it for creating next instance minimum it will wait for 300 uh, seconds which means 5 minutes it will wait okay this is a default time if i am not setting up the cool down period right it will keeps provision continuously okay it will easily reach your maximum limit all right to avoid that by default aws is giving you 300 sometime right people would have configured this for very longer duration due to this cool down lengthy duration also people might not be aware what cool down exactly okay so when they are giving long period that also giving you protecting i mean uh, denying uh, your uh, auto scaling to do not create a new instance so you need to always keep check for maximum uh, default go with the default cool down period that will be really good okay then the instance warm up period right when the instance is newly creating it will take see uh, when the policy is hitting your uh, uh, auto scaling to launch the new instance let's see i got a trigger 70% of cpu utilization has been reached my auto scaling will wait for 60 second whether it's con consistently uh, for 1 minute it's 70% sometime what will happen right if you are not having this instance warm up period uh, suddenly sometime your cpu utilization will go high and come down okay for one fraction of second it will go 80 it will come down to normal so that kind of scenario you know, unwanted it will create a new instance to avoid that we are having warm up period when i it is also default when it reaches my uh, ec2 uh, auto scaling it will wait for 60 second to come up with new instances sometime right people they'll go beyond very you know huge uh, warm up time that also protecting you are in auto scaling to do not create a new instances you need to always keep check whether it is set up default limit 60 and uh 30 this is very important guys okay that is what they are trying to say it in the point number 4 if you wanted to edit right here itself you have edit option you can go ahead you can edit it. there is no problem in that okay as of now up to four points there is no problem in that let me switch over to the fifth point okay check is there any life cycle hook configured for your amazon ec2 auto scaling hook sometime what happened right what is auto scaling a uh, life cycle hook might most of the people not aware about this life cycle hook uh, double shooting so what happened when auto scaling creating a new instance right if people wanted to update any package people wanted to install any package to a new instances it's kind of a user data uh, during the startup they will quickly they will execute many commands actually okay so that is something called as a life cycle hook when people know configured many uh, command okay which struggled anywhere or it's corrupted anywhere so what it will do it will put your new instance into waiting period or do not you know provision period it will terminate state it will keeps wait okay on hold state it will put your instance on on hold state how can we check that if you go to your auto scaling if you go to uh, automatic scaling all right so if you come down uh, there is no scheduled action at all okay fine instance management go to your instance management see here here if you can look at updating package okay in our configuration we have a life cycle hooks so when you go and check this right uh, when you click on uh, edit when you click on edit see so updating package when the instance is launching right heartbeat time okay with this particular seconds so default result okay abandon so yum install update i am just updating my package sometime what happened right people would have given a many set of commands here which also making you delay to your uh, instance uh, provision new to your auto scaling group in, in 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 terms of troubleshooting right if you want to the locally you wanted to delete you can delete and check it later you can create it any time you can create your life cycle hooks when you are giving lots of uh, uh, configuration you have given in the startup command right there may be a chances of holding your instance to create it you need to make sure you need to check right now for troubleshooting purpose let me delete this and i'll check okay life cycle hook has been deleted maybe we can check in after few seconds whether any changes happening in the activity history all right so these fifth point is very important guys many people not even know what is life cycle hook in auto scaling they will not look into that particular area okay so this is what the exact reason is keep in mind these kind of unique point if you are conveying during your interview right your interviewer will really admire about your answers okay you have to uh, upgrade your knowledge with these kind of unique troubleshooting skills only all right so some of the interviewer itself might not know what is auto scaling life cycle hook okay uh, personally i am telling you for based on my experience okay anyway so point 5 up to point 5 we are clear now we are going to point 6 check is there any scheduled action configured which conflicting your auto scaling group which means what in your auto scaling if you go there is option called schedule actually automatic scheduling right there is option called 
scheduled action what does it mean by scheduled action if it like as of now there is no scheduled action configured you know right right now in flipkart amazon and all the big billion day one day sale which is going on if you know what is the time period your most of your customers are visiting your application lots of request you will receive that kind of time right you can schedule it at the time you can set up the desired capacity minimum maximum okay recurrence only one time what time zone it is okay everything you can set up time and all you can set up so by the way what will happen only that scheduled period okay only that scheduled period your instance will launch uh, all your customers will come once your offer is go goes down right automatically the scheduled action will go down okay sometime what will happen uh, when your uh, auto scaling is non functioning right people will be you know very lazy they will go and check on high level they will uh, forget to scroll down and check in the scheduled action you need to make sure is there any scheduled activity has been configured or what okay that's very important okay that is what i am telling So checking the scheduled action in your auto scaling it's very very crucial point in point 6 keep in mind this need to be checked out okay so now i'll go to the point number 7 check the suspended process for your auto scaling room there is something called there's option called suspended process in your auto scaling whenever you do any maintenance or you know any change activity with your auto scaling instances right aws is providing you there is option called suspend process if you go to the details if you come down right there is option called suspend process okay when you click on the advanced configuration just click edit in this okay if you go there see uh, suspend process right now people suspend new launch instance and health check i think this would be the issue by default right it should be blank actually there shouldn't be selecting any option under the suspend process uh. when you select the suspend process there are lots of things are there for example if you are going for any maintenance activity between your auto scaling instances you are going to stop start your instances which is part of your auto scaling okay you are not supposed to blindly go and stop and start the instances in auto scaling why because it will keep checking the backend it will it will auto scaling will understand such a way oh my god there something happened to my instance he auto scaling will not know right it's just a automation so user only you only manually you know restarted or stopped your instances but auto scaling will understand such a way oh my god something happened to my instance it will make new newly new recreate the instance like that will launch new instance that problem will come so keep in mind whenever you are doing troubleshooting you need to enable this uh, terminate okay when you click on the terminate it will not terminate until and unless uh, you do anything it will not launch anything it will not check your health check you need to uh, keep these three items before you start your maintenance so what happened recently we have done the maintenance activity in my account guys i forgot to after the maintenance i need to remove all these actions after the maintenance i need to remove all these things i need to click on update once i have updated right my suspended process always should be zero there nothing should be selected here this is the default condition very very important if you have selected anything right it will not uh, launch new instance because you are suspending launch process you are suspending the termination process you are suspending checking the health check actually everything you are suspending okay when you are going to suspend the process only when you have a maintenance activity you need to suspend it until and unless for your general production timing you are not supposed are not allowed to suspend any processes now i have removed all these things as soon as we moved right i it should be you know in the activity uh, in another few seconds right it should be you know activated okay so it will launch the new instances i am damn sure this should be the problem maybe you know i can <clears throat> it will take some time uh, because we have a warm up time and cool down time right so due to that it will take some time immediately it will provision the new instances for me there is no issue on that all right so this is what my issue guys so always keep in mind suspend process supposed not select anything all right So these seven points are very very crucial when you come to auto scaling when you go for troubleshooting those steps. All right. So fine guys. So if you want to go with any specific troubleshooting video, you might have noticed uh, many of them putting comment. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to discuss any specific topic or things or stuff, right? Mention in the comment section. Similar like this, I'll take your topic also for my next upcoming videos. All right. And uh, once again, thank you for watching this video and do subscribe my channel and also. share this video with your friends and your other circles in your office colleague circle so it will get more reach okay that's the only thing you can do for me because i am spending all this time and researching and presenting these data setting up the lab is very difficult process one support i am requesting from you all is just subscribe my channel and share with your friends that's really matters and give your you know feedback in the comment that will be really motivate me and as i told you already if anyone need aws and devops real time project based training right very 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 affordable price i am ready to provide so do reach out to any one of this number either this, this number or that number uh, reach out to me we'll be providing you not only aws devops all kind of cloud training we are providing with devops we'll help you on that all right thank you guys thanks for watching this video uh, we'll meet you on upcoming next video with different scenario okay thanks a lot take care bye bye